Good afternoon and welcome to yet another Tug Connects 365 webinar today. I'm Gloria Nelson, your host with Tug. And as you settle in and get ready for the start of today's webinar, let me give a brief introduction for Tug, the usergroup.org for both our current members and for those of you who represent organizations that have not yet joined our online community of in for distribution software users. Now we've all heard that knowledge is power and I can say with confidence that after today's presentation, you'll be waking up tomorrow with a little little more of both. Tug webinars, online forums, and member events facilitate the timely exchange of ideas and information to help you work smarter and with more confidence. And no matter how you slice it, that's a powerful combination. If you're currently a member, it pays to get even more involved. And if you're not, please visit our website to discover why 2300 heads are better than one to help you be the best at what you do. Before we get started and jump into today's program, I want to give an announcement with regard to IP permissions. The intellectual property is yours for the taking. Brian has given permissions for you to go ahead and screen capture anything that you feel need, as well as to copy and paste any needed chat that would be beneficial to your daily job performance. We want to have you be involved. So number one, please go down to your individual toolbars and pull up and open your Q&A chat bubble. Uh, that is going to be where you're going to place your questions. I will be fielding those throughout the program today. And chat is a feature where you can engage with one another as well as reaffirm a message that Brian is delivering, et cetera. So I wanted to just share with you to buckle in for about 35 minutes. That's the amount of time that we're anticipating to today's program will take, but we will stay until your last question is answered or our allotted time runs out. So. It is our pleasure to introduce Brian Smith, Regional Sales Manager with PathGuide, as he takes us into the game strategy of the Queen's Gambit for capturing the digital supply chain. Now I'm turning things over to you, Brian, so go ahead and take it away. Thank you, Gloria. And And good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Queen's Gambit Supply Chain Webinar. I'll start with a slide of our sales and marketing team. Furthest left is our CEO, Erica Lay. And furthest right is yours truly, Brian Smith. I manage sales for the East Region for PathGuy. The agenda for today is as follows. We'll start with a brief overview of our company. Next, we'll highlight how a WMS leverages automation to create value for customers. Along the way, we'll discuss some advanced automation features such as carousels, robotics, and other goods to person technologies. We'll then highlight four customer use cases. These are four customers that benefited from using our Latitude WMS. And then we'll touch on two features that are, that are becoming increasingly popular with our customers. First is advanced vendor management inventory, which simplifies replenishment from customer locations and inbound transportation management, which streamlines dock scheduling. And then we'll wrap up the webinar. So who are we? So PathGuide provides a one-stop shop WMS for various in four platforms. We're pretty agnostic. We bolt on to 30 separate ERP ecosystems. Uh, some of the uh, Infor platforms we support include SXE, Fax, A+, Visual, CSD. And as I mentioned, we're one-stop shop. So we provide an end-to-end -end solution. So from the inbound doc scheduling to inside the four walls, blocking and tackling, that's receiving, put away and picking, to outbound processing, which is third-party manifesting, and private fleet route shipping. So we can we provide sort of the end-to-end -end solution. We've been around for over 30 years. So we were founded in 1989 and we're based in the Seattle suburb of Bothell, Washington. So a WMS provides direction and the foundation for any type of automation is a WMS. So the more tasks, that could be handled by the computer and the fewer human touches, the better. I mean, that's the idea, right? The less human interaction and touches, the less potential for mistakes. Modern technology is critical to maintaining a competitive advantage. 
refined processes drive productivity improvements and reduce costs. Traceability and metrics are critical to assess productivity, being able to easily measure picks per hour, receipts per day, that sort of thing by, by warehouse employee and be able to compare warehouse employees and industry standard uh, employee metrics is increasingly uh, important. And knowing where material is at all times, sort of the cradle to grave tracking and real-time visibility of inventory is critical. And electronic connectivity with partners is essential as well. That is ASNs and EDIs and other electronic transactions that drop down to the WMS and ERP to avoid human touches. That's also increasingly prevalent. In short, the more tasks that could be performed by the WMS and the less amount of human interaction with transactions, the better. Okay. So time uh, for the first of our three uh, poll questions. So here, here is the question and these are the uh, uh, response. These are the uh, selections. So if you were to add or increase the level of automation in your warehouse, what would be, or what would your number one reason for doing so? So the options are gain efficiencies, cut costs, scale operations. Again, the, the choices are gain efficiencies, cut costs, and scale operations. So we'll give you about a minute to respond and uh, we encourage you to respond and then we'll have Gloria uh, tally those responses. All righty, so it looks like scale operations um, uh, is, a, um, is a, uh, one of the choices. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about automation. Most WMS systems support core automation functions such as inventory management, order picking, routing, optimize picking and, sh and shipping. PathGuide and other WMS uh, ecosystems bring additional value add with robotics, carousels, voice picking and conveyors with sortation lanes. Pick to light, put to light and various goods to person technologies also fit in this category. Uh, these advanced automation features allow a warehouse to get more throughput from the same footprint. In other words, you want to do more with less. Uh, and again, the idea is to build up rather than build out. There are different levels of automation, of course. Uh, a robust WMS solution establishes the foundation for the more advanced automation tools I mentioned earlier. But everything starts with unloading the truck and staging the material for inbound processing, right? If inbound processing isn't efficient, this will negatively affect outbound processes. So you'll have more picking errors, less throughput, and just more efficiency on the outbound side. In summary, automation of receiving, put away, pick, pack, and ship are critical to an efficient warehouse. We've also found that doctor stock is becoming increasingly important. So doctor stock is the time between the arrival of material at the dock to unloading the truck, to putting it away, to making it available for picking. So doctor stock is becoming increasingly uh, critical to evaluating the efficiency of your operations. One of the keys to automation in the digital age is streamlining electronic integration between trading partners. So this includes automatically uploading ASNs from suppliers into the ERP, uh, and WMS to facilitate receiving. On the outbound side, importing EDI and e-commerce orders uh, for picking and order confirmation sent out to the customer. For those of you with big box retail customers, simplifying the retail conformance labeling process is important. And for those of you working with VMI sites, vendor manage inventory sites, streamlining and expediting min max order replenishment is critical. When these processes are automated, 
accuracy and productivity improves and error chargebacks from customers uh, or, and trading partners decrease. So next we're gonna discuss four use cases. These are four customers that, was, that were able to use our software to drive efficiencies and get significant ROI. The first use case is a large prosthetic distributor struggling with workarounds to compensate for lack of technology. So some of the issues they were having and how our WMS resolved these issues are as follows. Their previous system was a resource hog. It didn't alert users if a PO was received in the wrong branch. Their system had issues with learning new barcodes. Labels were also problematic. Put away bin limits were an issue. And their previous system uh, didn't support real-time scheduling. So our solution uh, was able to resolve all these issues and provided significant payback to this customer. Okay, so our next poll question is a true or false question. So here it is, true or false. Physical automation refers to the use of robots and robotic systems in a warehouse is typically more costly to implement and provides a reasonable payback and ROI for larger high volume warehouse and DC operations. So true or false? We'll give you a, um, a minute or so to respond. Okay, so the answer to this one is true. And thank you for your response. Our second use case example is a Green Bay, Wisconsin distributor of kitchen, home, and personal care products. Uh, they needed to integrate uh, PathGuide shipping software to add capacity without adding labor. So this customer, uh, they would experience a significant hockey stick demand in the fourth quarter. So they used to have to bring in a lot of seasonal labor. So again, they had to expend quite a bit of additional and incremental dollars uh, to bring in a lot of seasonal workers which significantly reduced their margin. And as we know, you know, a lot of warehouses uh, being distribution margins can be thin. So a lot of their margins were eaten up by additional uh, seasonal employees. So following the completion of the, of the path guide project, our customer no longer needed to hire seasonal workers. So the end result after the path guide implementation is they saved on labor. Machines have taken over repetitive tasks. Capacity has increased by a factor of five and they achieve payback uh, in less than six months. So in short, what previously took five days uh, can now be completed in, in a single day. So need, needless to say, uh, this cu customer is ecstatic at the results. The third of our four use case examples is a Pacific Northwest based distributor of marine products that initially came to PathGuide in 2010 for a WMS to replace her antiquated warehouse processes and because inaccurate orders were impacting customer service and loyalty. Now we're working with the client to install vertical lift carousels uh, to get more throughput from the same warehouse space. So again, as I mentioned earlier, you know, the whole idea here is to build up not out, uh, you wanna get more throughput from basically the same physical warehouse space. Cause you know, with, uh, especially with COVID you wanna automate as much as possible. And we have some customers that, you know they run out of space and rather than investing in another complete warehouse they're able to leverage these types of automation technologies. 
So the la latitude WMS will drive the carousel during receiving and put away uh, through outbound processing. So when the project is completed, dual tray retrieval will be supported during batch picking. Uh, velocity classes will be leveraged. And bin storage selection uh, will use uh, item classes. So again, this is a major, major project for this uh, for this uh, path guide customer. The last example is a large independent electrical distributor. They employ more than two hundred associates, and they're they're pretty big on having their warehouse employees gain valuable expertise. Uh, they want to be able to easily interchange roles and have different, you know, the same people do multiple roles so they could have maximum flexibility. So we are in the planning stage of working uh, with this customer to deploy robots to get more throughput uh, from the same warehouse foot footprint. Again, the theme is these advanced automation techno technologies allow you to get more space, more throughput uh, from the same physical location. So the goal of this project will be as follows. Support high density robotic piece picking and expand capacity without adding warehouse space. And leverage the ability of robots to deliver bins to workstations. So again, you know, the objective is to get more throughput uh, and uh, have the, the computer and these automation technologies do as much of the work as possible. Do more with less. Okay, so um, this is the last of our in presentation poll questions. So uh, which of these describe your current situation? Our warehouse still runs on paper and pencil. Our, dub, our ERP software has built-in warehouse management capabilities that work well enough. The third choice is our ERP software has built-in warehouse management capabilities, but we're considering options. Uh, the fourth choice is we have an integrated WMS, but are considering alternatives. And the last uh, choice is we like our current integrated WMS, but plan to grow the business significantly. Uh, and we're not sure if it will be able to handle it. So we'll give you a minute or so uh, to uh, respond. And again, we encourage uh, you to respond and we'll give you a minute to um, get your responses in and then Gloria, Gloria will present me the, uh, the answers. And this final question, we have very shy audience members. We don't have anyone responding yet. So not to press or to put upon anyone, I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll and you can continue, okay, Brian? Okay. Okay, next we'll discuss two areas that are becoming much more prevalent and popular with our customers. Uh, VMI, vendor managed inventory and doc scheduling, which is gonna, gonna be the next uh, area I cover. So vendor managed inventory has become very popular with customers at it, as it helps with client retention by automating the replenishment process. So it streamlines replenishment by allowing customers to backfill without having to call the vendor uh, to replace merchandise. Uh, and you can actually see the process flow in the diagram on the screen. Uh, your customer is low on, on a key part at their remote warehouse. The system, the VMI system uh, at your customer will generate automatically generate the replenishment order it will come to your warehouse uh, to be fulfilled. It's shipped back to the customer. Uh, that's gonna be received either, either via an ASN receiving process or via traditional uh, receiving. 
and then it's received into your, your inventory. Uh, we do offer an advanced warehouse uh, or advanced VMI solution that runs separate from our WMS. So you don't have to make a full WMS investment. So we have a lot of customers or quite a few by the uh, anyway, where their customers have critical inventory shortages at remote warehouse sites. Uh, and they may not want a full WMS. In other words, they may not want to make the full investment in a full-blown WMS, but they may have customers that, that need to have their uh, inventory replenished quickly. So this would be ideal for those types of customers, right? So you wouldn't have to you know, implement the full-blown warehouse management solution. You could just buy this software and it will streamline that process for you considerably. Our advanced VMI solution supports lot tracking, date sensitive requirements, serial numbers, and a lot of the other features of a WMS. Basically, it's a tool crib or a mini warehouse at the customer location. So everything is basically there, uh, but they don't have to call you to place an order, have your people go through creating an order, fulfilling it in your warehouse. It's done automatically from the customer's warehouse. So very popular feature and very uh, increasingly um, um, popular with our customers. Another automation opportunity is inbound doc scheduling. So utilizing an inbound management tool, trucks and shipments can be efficiently scheduled. So these are some of the critical uh, inbound management uh, questions you wanna ask yourself. How long does it take to unload trucks? A vendor's coming in late on time. Do you measure vendors? Is, is a vendor scorecards important to you? Are trucks idling for long periods of time waiting for docks and bays to open up? So these are some of the critical questions that will let you know whether an inbound dock scheduling tool is right for your business. By implementing an ITM or inbound dock scheduling system, you would be able to more efficiently schedule and control inbound freight, right size the resources uh, required to unload merchandise, better assign and forecast daily labor, and reduce inbound handling and transportation costs. So using an inbound transportation management system, vendor metrics and scorecards can be leveraged. So it could help you, for example, uh, negotiate better rates with your vendors. In fact, we recently had a large customer leverage this technology and this solution to negotiate better rates and lower prices from their vendors. So very, very useful in that regard if you're into tracking Dr. To stock, vendor performance, et cetera. This would be very useful for that purpose. Okay, so to recap, we talked about who we are and, and that our focus is WMS. We noted that the WMS is the foundation for automation. We touched on four customer use cases, or these are customers that benefit or benefited from using our software. And finally, we highlighted two WMS features that, that are becoming increasingly popular, advanced vendor managed inventory and inbound transportation management uh, or uh, inbound doc scheduling. Okay, so what questions do you have for, for me? So um, I will um, let Gloria kind of uh, take over and, and, hand, and tally the, quest, the Q and A and I'll respond as, as appropriate. Well, thank you for the welcome and invitation back, Brian. Uh, we have uh, the first question that was po posted anonymously is, how would I know whether a vertical lift might be right for my warehouse? Yeah, the important thing is, is um, warehouse utilization. In other words, how are you, are you having inefficiencies in terms of people and wanting to get more inventory? In other words, you want to ship more from the same space. So a lot of customers, what they're doing is they're building up. 
So you can't expand outward, right? Because the rest of the warehouse is, is pretty full. You don't want to make an investment in a new facility. So what a lot of customers do is they actually build up. Now, of course, you have to have the, the height in the warehouse, right? So the, what a lot of our customers do, they'll bring somebody in to, to assess how high the warehouse, warehouse is in terms of, you know, whether it could support uh, vertical lifts. But that's the idea. The idea is that you don't want to build out. You want to, you want to use as much space in the warehouse as possible without building out. Sounds great. And what are the advantages of a dedicated WMS? Well, a dedicated WMS is fantastic because if your ERP goes down, then you could continue to pick, pack, ship. Uh, a lot of these WMSs, a uh, third-party WMS, have their own databases, so they will cache transactions, right? So essentially, they'll post it while their ERP is down. So when your ERP comes back up, it's able to um, update your ERP and update your general ledger, your master records, your master uh, tables, your, your um, inventory tables, et cetera. So the key benefit is that if your ERP goes down, if you have some kind of power outage in your uh, main business system, your warehouse can still, op can still operate. Great. Terrific and question. We don't have any additional questions after that. Um, if someone wants to reach out to the company and they're interested in PathGuide's product, what's the best way to reach out to all of you, Brian? Well, you could go to our, our website at sales at pathguide.com or you could email me at bsmith at pathguide.com. That's B as in Brian Smith, S-M-I-T-H at pathguide.com. But if you go to pathguide pathguide.com, you'll see a, a portal there for client, uh, for customers, if they want a demo or what have you. Sounds wonderful to me. Um, Brian, first of all, thank you so much. This is a first time presentation for you. You did an excellent job. We want to thank you for all of your wisdom and sharing your content, as well as thanking everyone who has joined us online today for today's session. Mark your calendars and watch your inbox along with the forum boards for this Friday's invitation for all of our SXE and CSD users in the arena of assembly and service with a review of the new ERS requests for ISM and CF CSFS. Uh, TUG members, just a quick reminder, if you still have additional questions, please post them to the TUG members only forum. We know that PathGuide will be monitoring those as well as continuing a stimulating conversation amongst our members. And for those of you who are not yet members, that is a member privilege that is exclusive to our TUG members and is 24 karat gold with regard to the peer-to-peer -peer support and the discussions that take place. So we invite you to once again, jump over to our website at www.theusergroup.org and join today. And as they say in Hollywood, that's a wrap. Thank you.